Allegedly Nerdy here, and today I'm starting a new series, um, the Weekly Hobby Roundup. Basically the idea of it is I want to be able to get more stuff done at the hobby, sometimes you know I procrastinate and such, and the general idea is, from sharing it with random strangers on the internet, I'll feel pressured into actually getting stuff done. So going, I'm going to attempt to make it a weekly thing, um, where I show I have to have at least one thing that I've made progress on. At least one thing, um, and the more things, the better. Um, I'm also going to talk about, you know, hobby news, stuff going on with, uh, you know, Warhammer, or miniature wargaming, or even just like, you know, general sort of geek nerd news, um, stuff I'm going to be doing as far as that sort of whole stuff. You know, talking about, you know, oh, I played this game last weekend, or oh, I have a game or a tournament coming up. Or talking about, you know, how my D&D campaign is going, stuff like that. Um, but, let's jump right in. Um, stuff I did in the last week, all this I have done since last Wednesday. So I, um, got started on an Imperial Knight. I have, you know, legs done. Lots of the weapon options done. Um, waiting for magnets. Um, I plan on magnetizing all the weapon options. I also plan on adding a cockpit to it. For, you know, fun reasons. I might even get the, um, the hatch. Drill out the hatch so that you can open and close it. That would be pretty cool. Not sure if I'm going to do it, but that would be pretty cool if I did. Um, you know, I have... The Gatling Cannon done, Chainsword, Icarus, yeah, Icarus Auto Cannons, um, the, uh, Missile Pod, again, I'm going to mag be magnetizing that, um, Barrel Cannon, going to be magnetizing that, don't have the Thermal Cannon done yet, I'm going to be magnetizing the... Pintle weapons, the heavy stubby on the uh, mounted gun. That's his head, not a mounted gun. Uh, mounted gun. Yeah, uh, so that's. I have the shoulder joints done. All of that good stuff. I might do some test schemes for the shoulders, but a lot of the parts I have on order aren't arriving until July 3rd, I believe. So that's a bit of a ways off. In the meantime, I'm going to be working on the Betrayal at Kalth box set. I've already finished Mr. Wordbearer character, who I'm just going to be using as a librarian with a Force Stave and Plasma Pistol, and Ultra Smurf McMahon, um, <clears throat> who's just going to be a captain in Catrifacti Armor. Catrifacti Armor? Cat well, if they're going with pseudo Latin, it'd be cataphracti eye. But I'm going to go with it just being cataphracti armor. Um, with combi mounter and chain fist. I'm going to get started on the tactical squads. I already have one tactical squad that didn't come with this box set that I got. I plan on having two ranged tactical squads. One sort of more long range with, um, it's going to have a, uh, now what, I'm going to have two that are sort of short range, which will basically be the same setup, which is Sergeant with Combi Mounter, and not Combi Plasma, sorry, um, now seven guys with bolt guns, um, Plasma Rifle, and the Heavy Bolt two, two squads like that, and then two other squads, which will be split, which half, which um, half will have the sergeant with plasma pistol and power sword, um, three guys with bolt guns, and either a flamer or a mounter, and the other half will have four guys with bolt guns and a missile launcher. And that's sort of my general idea of, you know, spinning up the uh, weapons options to make good tactical decisions. I'm not that good with space marine tactics. 
Um, as some of you probably know, I'm I'm an Imperial Guard guy, but I'm broadening the Imperial horizon because the the Empire is mighty. Uh, the Imperium is mighty. My apologies. I'm going to work on that. Probably going to play my first game of Eighth Edition this weekend. Um, hopefully that goes well. I think it will. For my here, God is really powerful in Eighth Edition, and I'm not doubting it. Um, I'm going to be starting up my D and D campaign soon. Uh, all the planning for that is going really well. Um, it's going to be online, and the players. I mean. They've been really helpful with um, getting all the scheduling done and stuff, and that's a huge shout out to those guys. The great guys. Um, you're probably watching this, and if you are, you're great people. You're good people. Um, I think that's mostly it. Um, Games Workshop, well, it was leaked the other sort of 8th edition starter sets that will have the Primaris and the Death Guard. And I kind of like the look of them. I mean, they come with an actual battle mat and terrain. I just kind of wish that for the big cardboard terrain, they didn't just mimic stuff that already existed. Like, don't just mimic the armored containers. Mimic some unique building or something. Or include actual armored container stuff. And also make the armored containers cheaper because with the quality of plastic that they're using, they're not worth what we're paying for them. Um, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys next week and thank you for watching.